hello everybody uh, today I'm going to talk about simulating teaching you how to simulate a reentry vehicle into the earth atmosphere well just like all other CFD projects it's very interesting at least for me doing and uh, the most complex mathematical modeling just with algebraic equations which are in background of this CFD software well uh, just let's start first uh, open SOLIDWORKS and a new part waiting for it to be open okay uh, on front plane just open a new sketch here on polygon click and let's create a triangle just like this for example uh, well in fact I'm not going to do it an academic uh, project it's just show you how how to do it in a rough manner okay this dimension uh, for example about three meters here we are working with millimeters okay three thousand millimeters and uh, after that just uh, let's make the bottom surface of the reentry capsule somehow curved here by a circle with three point circle the first one second one and for example for example this much just if you want to evaluate and make it completely specific 3500 for example okay and confirm okay right now just trim some of the edges this one for example this one this circle here okay and let's fillet the other corners make the fillet radius somehow big for example 300 millimeters for this one and for example 200 for these two okay just let's save it anything occurs we won't lose our farts for example just um, capsule with the name of capsule don't know the gram and the right spelling okay well let's cut this shape in half and trim the extra elements we do not need them anymore okay and Revolve what is remaining with this axis of revolution. Confirm. Here. Well, as you can see, a general shape for a reentry vehicle, like Apollo reentry vehicle, as you can search it in. Google and see the shape. 
okay save the changes and just let's go to workbench and this workbench to do the rest we, you know, we wait until the software gets up well here in analysis systems just Put a fluid flow with fluent on the workbench and after that just go to the folder you save your recall and just drag it Geometry and connect this geometry to the main block. Right click and right click on geometry and edit geometry in design modeler. Wait for the program to start. Well, there is some kind of errors. Let's delete this block and just come to SolidWorks. Save as .sat file, ACIS, I mean. In the same folder. And after that, just come back to like here and <coughs> close the design modeler go and browse for the ACIS file capsule.sat file or ACIS file and again right click and edit with design modeler wait for the program my system somehow is very old and so slow generate Okay, hit the screen and as you can see this is our week. Just we are going to create a domain, for example a box domain. As you can see the box is very small. We should make it larger, for example, by 50 meters in three dimensions, okay? And uh, the vehicle must be in the center. So we should translate the box by minus 25 in three, in all three dimensions. Okay, just generate it, with the screen, and now just let's blink. The first part, click F2, and make it, for example, green tree. Okay, come to create blink. We are going to subtract the ring tree vehicle from the cube domain. Target body is, is the cube and tool body is the ring tree, uh, ring tree craft. And just generate. As you can see, we have just one part. The cube with the ring tree vehicle subtracted from the middle. Okay? Well, 
in the next step just go to mesh part and wait for the program to come up well uh, just let's save the project the whole project before going any further if you don't you may lose all your efforts for example again in, in that same folder with any name you like <coughs> now just open the meshing and before doing any settings let's just let the program to mesh at default grid after examination we will do some manipulation okay just uh, let's create a section plane and before that make a wireframe this is the section plane let's go back to solid view okay as you can see this is the default mesh okay And if you want to know how the number of the cells, just come here in details of the mesh, in statistics. And as you can see, about 140,000 cells. Well, I'm not going to create or use boundary layer meshes or anything else. I just want to show you how to simulate this problem, this project, okay? Just fit the view and come here and insert some name selections. You are using them for boundary conditions. The first one, selection mode into box, select all the faces of the ring tree wiggle, 8 faces, and rename it to ring tree, for example, any name you like, and go back to single select mode. Just well, single select mode. We are going to <coughs> select, for example, these faces. Here, the section plane. And we are applied. Just let's Button. This way is okay. Rename it to around, for example. The third one.
for example, into out to volume metric selection. And this is, for example, the name of air. Well, we are somehow finished. Just let's update the mesh here again. And after that, save the project to have the recent manipulations and let's just go to the analytical part fluent software my hardware is not up to date or strong enough so I don't use double precision and uh, and I don't parallel the simulation process just with one core. I start the program and wait for it to come up. Okay, let's first display the vehicle here in this software, ages and faces for only the ring tree display and with the view right. well as you can see this is the vehicle we have generated and meshed well let's save it save the whole project now and after that do some settings well here we are dealing with compressible flow in fact the uh, in green tree vehicle moves really high with hypersonic velocities so we use density based algorithm I'm not going to do a specific and detailed simulation so I go with a steady and uh, after that scaling as you can see the domain ranges it is okay minus 25 meters to plus 25 meters so there is no need for scaling and just checking the mesh as you can see everything is okay and we do not have any warning here okay uh, let's go to the models multi-phase energy of course energy must be activated because air gets hot and we have shock waves so temperature gradients exist viscosity model with the default one SSDK omega and the others as they are into materials air and we are going to change density from constant to ideal gas or any other equation of state okay change it create close it and come to boundary conditions internal outlet and wall around room 3 outlet pressure outlet and internal is the air domain here the around boundary must be changed into velocity inlet okay and here in velocity inlet or maybe better than velocity inlet we if we use pressure bar field or anything like that for example pressure bar field I think pressure bar field is better here you can both of you, you can use both of them for example with Mach 3 or 4 and of course this vehicle moves hypersonic more than 5 the Mach number is more than 5 but here uh, as I said, I'm not going to do an academic project and 
it may diverge so I use lower Mach numbers for example 3 okay the coach pressure here uh, put it for example 10,000 of Pascal for example and the temperature leave it the same okay leave it as it is and the components the components of the hello as you can see this is the Y, y direction and the air moves in this direction so this is 0 this is 1 and this is 0 ok just apply it uh, come back to uh, come back to general and Boundary conditions and operating conditions make the operating pressure into zero, okay? And just come back to boundary conditions. The outlet is pressure outlet. I think this may work so. It seems that everything is normal. Just let's save the project and after that just make simulation go on. Come here into initializa initialization and initialize with hybrid scheme. Okay. After that, come to run calculations. For example, a hundred number, hundred durations, and let's make the program calculate. Seems that we are not going to converge in a proper manner. So just let me stop the simulation. Go to controls and make the current number somehow smaller. Wait for the simulation to go on. Well, uh, before uh, before I forget, I must tell that I deactivated the turbulence model. In fact, uh, I made the simulation with inviscid settings. Okay, just come you want to do it just come to models viscous and choose in visit okay and uh, let's see the results come here into contour the ring tree click the view and just let's rotate as you can see the pressure is high because it is the in front in front of the flow and temperature is also high here it is very interesting that temperature is high at the back of the vehicle 
and if you want to see the shark wave just come here and look at it well because the mesh is coarse the shock wave uh, is not very smooth and is not uh, thin enough if you want it to be captured correctly you need to refine the grid cells here in this region okay that's all just save your project if you are going to modify it in future and uh, your questions are welcome so just let me know goodbye and be safe happy and hopeful